Have you ever messed up your spider by trying to sell a package? Does your iPython console only give you a bunch of errors? Have you installed Python packages and couldn't get them to work? Has your spider died for apparently no reason and never come back to life again? Did you install a spider and never got it working at all? This video is for you. everyone, I'm Juanita, one of Spider developers, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve some of the issues you may run to when using Pip, ConvaForge, and Anaconda for package installation. If you have used some of these comments, you may have broken your Spider or other packages in your environment. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to fix this. This video is divided into two parts. In the first one, we'll go through a series of steps that will hopefully help you solve the problems you're having. And in the second one, I'm going to show you a safer way to install Python packages without breaking spiders. If you are not having any issues, then you can skip to part two. when you get an error with Spider is checking if someone else has had the same issue and managed to solve it with some help. To do this, go to our issue tracker linked below, delete the is open text in the search field to be able to browse through all of our issues and paste the last line of the error that appears in your error dialog or command line. Look for the most recent issues first. You will see that many of the people that reply to issues have the member tag which means they are part of the Spider's developer team and you should follow their advice. Try not to follow the advice of anyone without a member tag. If this issue search is not successful, try googling the same last line of your error or the description of your problem and look for answers in Stack Overflow. Our lead maintainer, Carlos Cordova, replies many of the questions from users and one of his answers might be helpful. In this case, I will strongly suggest you not following any advice that's not from him. If you couldn't solve your issue with the previous steps, there's a few things more to try. If you're not a Windows user, you can skip to step 4. If you do use Windows, type the following path in the address bar of your Windows Explorer. And if you find it, delete the content in it. Packages installed in this directory will override those installed by Anaconda and could break Spider. If things are not fixed yet, you can try installing Spider in a new environment. To do so, type these comments in the terminal or Anaconda prompt. If none of these steps before worked, is uninstalling Anaconda and installing everything again, which we will go over in part 2. This process depends on your operating system, so you should follow the instructions in the link below. However, I am going to show you how to do this on Windows. In the control panel, choose Add or Remove Programs, and then select Python 3.7 Anaconda and click the Uninstall button. Once you uninstall everything, you are ready for part 2 where we will see how to do our spider and package installation right. The first thing you have to do to get spider working is download it using Anaconda. Go to the link I posted on the description and follow the instructions. One eternity later. When downloading Anaconda, you also get many packages by default that you will find useful for working with Python. However, you might want to use a package that wasn't included in your Anaconda installation, like Bygame or a more recent version of one, like PyTorch or TensorFlow. The first approach for installing an extra package should be using Conda. Type conda install and the name of the package to do this. 
If you get this error message, it means your package couldn't be installed and you need to go to step 3. If step 2 didn't work, you should try installing your package from ConduForge, which is a repository maintained by community that has Conda packages that complement those that can be installed by default with Anaconda. To make sure that your package is available in ConduForge, type its name in the search bar of the following link. If you don't find it, go to step 4. Otherwise, you must create a new environment in which you can install your package from ConduForge. Type the following comments to create and activate this new environment. Then, install the package you want using this command. If you get this error message, it means that your package couldn't be installed and you need to go to step 4. If your package installation was successful, you need to install spider kernels in this environment so you can use spider with it by typing the following comment. Now you can jump to step 5. If installing from ConnaForge didn't do the trick, you should try using BIP. But same as with ConnaForge, you should do so in a new environment. Do not mix BIP on Conda. Use the following comments to create and activate this new environment. Install the package you want using the following comment. Install Spider kernels in this new environment so you can use the spider with it. To work in this new environment with spider, it is necessary to change spider's default Python to interpreter. To do so, first go to your terminal, type conda info dash dash ms, copy the path from the environment you created to your clipboard. Now, go to preferences in spider's window, click Python interpreter, paste the path, and at the end, add slash bin slash python for Mac and Linux or slash python.exe for Windows. Finally, restart the spider for these changes to take effect. I hope this video helped you bring your spider back to life and I hope you learned some tips to keep it that way. Subscribe to our channel to watch more videos and please leave us comments below to let us know if this were to solve your issues. Thanks for watching and happy spidering!